Okay guys, it's Anthony or Super Review Service. I uh, figured I'd show this. Here, hold that real quick. Right here. I let this harden up. This is extra from the second injection. I cut it open. I can bend it a little bit. I know it's hard to see on the video, but it does get hard. So what we got now is, ready? this is Anchor's truck, truck 48. Good. We've got the second injection done. Uh, it was a couple of days ago. So where we're at right now is we're testing the second injection. So just look for look for bubbles. Yeah. Ten pounds. Okay, well, that's it. 18 pounds. The cooling system is at 18 pounds. We've got it pressurized by our little cap. Going down to our regulator. To here. About 20 pounds. 20 pounds in it. We don't use a little pump up thing. We, we got an air compressor. We don't need to pump air. But let's see. No guys, looks good. Just watching for any bubbles. I think it's good. So now the issue is Hopefully we clean the injector bore good enough because if any of this is outside of the bore, when we go to put that O-ring in, the fuel will not, it will not seal. There, there's a little bitty piece and you can kind of see, oh, I just broke it. I bent it halfway and it broke. There's a little bit right there. It turns into like really hard plastic. So, yeah. Looks like we'll probably go ahead and throw an injector back in it. Look at it one more time. I don't see anything. Go ahead and fill it the rest of the way up with WD-40. Let the bubbles go down. See this leaking into the other bores? No, it's not going through the fuel passage. I think it's good guys, for now, oh, what's that, yeah it's always tough, we gotta sit and wait for the bubbles to go down from, uh, I can kind of shake the bubbles a little bit, hit them with, hit them with a screwdriver. I know this video on, on my phone it looks really freaking old. It looks like a it's not all clear. I don't know why this flash is so screwy. I don't see anything guys. <laughs> 